bring in Republican Congressman Byron Donalds. It's good to see you. How's your family? Uh, they're doing great. It's good to see you. Good. Uh, problems down there with the variant. Is there a reason for it in your mind that uh, is different from the obvious? Uh, well, look, what we've seen is that the Delta variant is a little bit more contagious than the original strain. Uh, but you have to remember, 85 percent of our senior citizens are fully vaccinated in Florida. It was a priority of uh, the governor, Governor DeSantis, and of our state government to make sure that senior citizens had all the access necessary to get vaccinated. That has occurred at an 85 percent clip. Mm -hmm. um, it starts to drop off as you start going into into younger ages. And I think it's also important to understand, Chris, that when you look at uh, different groups that are not getting vaccinated, um, black Black Americans, Hispanic Americans are get, getting vaccinated at lower rates True. than white Americans, and Asian Americans. So I think it's something it's important to understand that you have you have a, a, a ethnic component to this, unfortunately. But you also have to understand that the age component, which is the most important thing that senior citizens in Florida, by and large, have been vaccinated and have full access to getting vaccines. But, you know, that's not the end of the story. Look, I get why you say it. Uh, it's certainly important from a lethality standpoint. Nobody is as vulnerable to die um, as the elderly. So good. But, you know, that's not the full story. And there is a politicizing of this. Yes, you're right. Certain ethnic minorities don't. Why? You have access and you also have uh, generations of distrust for different reasons about what's happened with the government interplay in their lives before. True or not true. But I'm talking about something else. The reason has to be part of the reason that you're seeing what you're seeing in Florida is because of vaccine hesitancy. And an aspect of vaccine hesitancy is politics, especially in your state. Don't Fauci, Florida. We all know that was about. Do you feel responsible for spreading a message where I'm not going to take it because I don't care what Biden wants? Byron Donald's not going to take it because he doesn't care what Biden wants. You think that's a good message for people to hear? Well, the first thing is my message was never about Joe Biden. The message is about me and my own personal health. I'm not I'm getting vaccinated old, because I don't want hold to. On, Chris, hold on, no, no. I want to read your words. I want to read your words. Byron, I, I, I know you don't get to it. cut me off. It's my show. But just listen. It has nothing to do with you what Joe Biden wants. It has nothing to do with what Joe Biden wants. Funny. I never brought him up when I was deciding whether or not to get vaccinated. Why did you? A reporter asked me on a news show and I said it has nothing to do with what he wants. I chose not to get vaccinated because I chose not to get vaccinated. I already had COVID-19 once. I'm 42 years old. I'm in very good health. I actually get checkups regularly and do all those things. That's a personal decision for myself. Members of my family, my wife, my three kids, they've all had COVID. They're not getting vaccinated. They're all healthy. That is a decision they've chosen to make. You ask your doctor. To, for everybody to understand is this. Hold on. Here's the key thing you need to understand. If people in the United States are concerned about contracting and being hospitalized and dying, of course, from COVID-19, please go get vaccinated. I will never tell you not to get vaccinated. What I'm saying is I made a decision not to get vaccinated. And it doesn't matter if it's you or Joe Biden or anybody else that's going to stress or want me to get it. I'm not doing it because yeah, you're, you're I made that it decision I know, but that's a, just as because a free you, person. Hold on, hold on, Byron. That doesn't make you just a free person. All right. Freedom isn't just defined as the bold and ability to be strong and wrong. It's about doing the right thing, the best thing. You say if people are worried about getting sick or dying, then they should get vaccinated. Uh, what about if people are worried about giving COVID-19 or a variant to others, which you very well could do? You could be doing it right now and not know. Doesn't that matter? But you just said that people who have actually gotten vaccinated and may have picked up the variant, that the actual symptoms are very, very uh, mild, if any exist at all. There's a member of Congress just came back. He tested positive and he actually had been vaccinated earlier this year. Yeah, that's why he's back it's and he's not fine. severe. Talk to him earlier today. Because he was vaccinated. Because he was vaccinated. Byron, you well, just made my, my point. point. But you're making that is but the you point. make the wrong point. What is you it? are making the point that everybody has to get vaccinated in order to protect to protect everybody. What I am saying is, is that that if Americans want to get vaccinated, if they want to be protected from COVID-19, whether it's the Delta variant or the new Lambda variant that's coming through our southern border as we speak, if you want to get protected from that, go get the vaccine. I fully promote you but doing if that. You don't but at the same get time, it, if there are Americans who are don't want to get it, you. Listen, they shouldn't be forced to do so. Nobody, but see, that's the thing. It's a false choice. 
This isn't about you won't force it's me. It's not a false choice. It's, it's, it is. That's actually it is. the accurate choice, Chris. It's, it's not, not an not accurate false. choice. Nobody's false forcing false. anybody. You're trying to push it to where people have to be forced. And you're seeing it as a position of strength oh, no. and advantage. You're the one that's no. pushing it, not me. I'm not trying well, to There's push no it. question I'm that you're not pushing push the vaccine. Everybody should know that about you, Byron Donald. You are not telling people to get vaccinated. You are not pushing it. You are not saying it's the right choice. You're saying you're not doing it and your family's Chris. not doing it. And you're leaving out of the equation that you can make other people sick as if that doesn't matter okay chris did you not just hear my answer 30 seconds ago where i said if you want to be protected from these variants and the original what about strain protect please other go people. get vaccinated i promote you to do that i just told you live on your own show that if you want to get vaccinated in america go do it but if there are americans like myself who choose not to please don't berate me for doing that that is a personal choice i have made it's, with see, my own health care no, i am allowed to it, do that i'm entitled thing, to do byron that. you're absolutely right to do it you have a right to do it two different statements OK, do you have the right? Of course, nobody's debating that except you guys as a false choice. What I'm saying is, is it right to do it? Have you spoken to a doctor? You're supposed to be a leader. Have you talked to the CDC and the people who are in Florida at the Department of Health about whether or not they think you made a good choice? Because if your answer is just then, well, I don't care what they say. This is me. I'm an American. That is being dumb as a proxy for being bold. And I don't think it's a good message because well, remember, it's not just you well, protecting let me, yourself. Let me say this. It's you protecting me and other people from you. That's why you get vaccinated, not just for yourself. Important distinction. Go ahead. Actually, the way vaccines work mm -hmm. are to protect yourself. A vaccine that basically gives you a special cocoon where you actually limit the worst harmful effects of the virus itself or may not get it altogether, depending on your own personal physiology. So that's the way vaccines work. Now, to me personally, I did talk to a couple of doctors that I know about it. I told them I already had it and I'm 42. What do you think? And they said, yeah, you're fine. If that's what you no, want to no. do, go ahead and do it. They didn't come and say, no, no, you have to do it because of everybody else. Because if other people want to be protected, they have access to vaccines. Go get the vaccine. I would never tell anybody not to get vaccinated. People, I do totally support it, it if that's what somebody listen, chooses to do. Byron, I'm with you. I don't know why this is hard. It's that simple. Oh, oh Listen, I totally agree with you. It is very simple. I think you're making it hard because you're seeing some kind of righteousness and a choice to do something that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But again, that's your right. What I'm saying is something else. You're wrong about how vaccines work. You're only giving part of the prophylaxis, okay? The other aspect to why you take the vaccine is it also reduces, not completely, nothing is perfect, and certainly this vaccine is not, but it also reduces your ability to communicate the virus and make other people infected. That part matters too. Listen, brother, I tell, I tell you the same thing every time I talk to you. I wish you well and I respect you as a leader. I hope you don't get sick again, and I hope your family does not as well. I would never want anything else for you. God bless you, your wife, and your kids. I'm just saying the numbers are going up down in Florida for a reason. They're going up down there for a reason. And it's not just because of the randomness of the variant. Otherwise, you guys wouldn't be getting hit worse. That's all. You're always welcome here. I know I interrupt a little bit. I'm passionate, and I'm scared. I'm worried about this. But, Congressman, I respect you coming on the show. Hi. Of course, anytime. Be All safe. Right. Be well and be safe. First, though, a Fox News alert and allegations of bias being leveled at the powerful Congressional Black Caucus. Freshman Republican Congressman Byron Donalds accusing the committee of keeping him out simply because he doesn't buy into their agenda. Donalds has made it clear that he wants to join the caucus, but so far the members aren't budging. And during an interview with a different network than this one, the host questioned whether Donalds support of President Trump is the reason. Listen here. Do you think that your defense of a person that said things like that might be incongruent with the mission of the CBC? As a black man in America, I'm allowed to have my own thoughts on who I choose to support and who I choose not to support. This is whether the uh, ideology of somebody who is conservative is welcome in the Congressional Black Caucus. Congressman Byron Donalds joins us now. Your thoughts on that exchange, first of all, Congressman, is it's good to see you again? Oh, it's always good to see you and be with you guys. You know, I thought the exchange was pretty typical of what happens when you go on uh, CNN, that other network. I know I'm not allowed to talk about it on your network, but it's pretty indicative. You know, I, it, it, my attitude is simple. Like, are people allowed to have their own thoughts in 2021 America? The left always talks about, and the media always likes to talk about how America is intolerant, but it seems the only person, only group that's intolerant is them. 
Let people have their own thoughts, their own ideals, whether you're white, you're black, Hispanic, whether you're male or female, that's up to you. People should be free to actually communicate their thoughts and ideas and stand by them. They shouldn't be ridiculed or excluded because of them. Right. The, the idea, which appears to be tightly held by liberals, is that African Americans should naturally gravitate toward the Democratic Party. How is that thought in or out of step with the reality in America? I think it's in step from a, <clears throat> from a political culture standpoint because media and the left likes to create political culture. But in reality, it doesn't make any sense. Why would I support a party that doesn't allow kids that look like me to have choice in education? Why would I support a, a party that wants to blow out the spending, which is causing inflation right now in the United States, what makes it harder for poor families to buy more product because their money is being, is being squeezed because they can't buy more stuff? Why would I support a party that wants to destroy border security, which actually puts more weight and more burdens on the United States at a time when we're trying to get our economy off the track? These are the things that are reality in America. So whether you're black or you're brown or whatever, it doesn't really matter. You should be able to support who you want to support. But the Democrats don't like it. They don't want that to be the reality in America. But it's slowly become their, becoming the reality every single day. So you've got people who are liberals suggesting that your views are incongruous with the Congressional Black Caucus. You've got Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina after he gave the Republican response to the president's speech to a joint session of Congress being called Uncle Tim because of what he said. You've got people on the left who, who rail about racism now basically engaging in it. Yeah, they're having to deal with their own internal problems. I'm glad to see somebody's finally starting to call themselves out on that side of the aisle. But let's be very, very clear. The reason why Tim Scott or myself or Burgess Owens or, or, or Mia Love and Alan West before us, the reason why they have these problems with the left is because we don't fit their narrative. We've already seen this week how media narratives from 2020 have already been blown up because they don't look at the facts. They only look at their ideology and their agenda. And the more that we speak the truth to these things and don't just bow down and be silent to the narrative that they want to push, the better everybody is going to be in our country. We have to be focused on what really works and what really matters. And that can't be based upon race. It has to be upon the facts of the matter of what really is working for people in America. What, what, what is it, Congressman, that liberals, in particular white liberals, don't understand about the African-American community? Uh, honestly, that we have a very diverse thought, that we have people who don't really agree on a lot of things. There are core things we do agree on. We want the black community and we want black people to get ahead and thrive. But whether it's politics, religion, sports, food, clothing, uh, entertainment, we have very different thoughts. We're just like any, any other group of people in America. The thing that I, it's important for media and for politicians to understand is that you know, you really got to come and speak to us. Come and earn our support. Don't just take it for granted and don't assume you're never going to get it. Come and have that dialogue. Bring your ideas and you'll be surprised how many black Americans would actually side with conservatives because they actually are conservative or maybe want to remain liberals because they are liberal. Our political thought is just as dynamic as our, internet, our entertainment thought and our cultural thoughts. All right. Congressman Byron Donalds of Florida, good to talk to you. I hope you have a good weekend, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for joining us. Always good to be with you.